Good morning. Welcome to Westgate. My good friend Barry Feldridge told me that I use my hands too much when I talk, so I'm going to try and work on that this morning. If this is your first time here at Westgate, please make sure to stop by the welcome desk in the foyer for a special gift to let you know how glad we are that you're here. Please fill out the connection card in your bulletin and place it in the collection plate when it's passed. If you'd like the prayers of the Westgate Shepherds, be sure to fill out the back as well. Song packets with the worship service songs are available at the auditorium entrance. Also, be sure to stop by the information wall to keep up with what's going on at Westgate. The Welcome to Westgate Fellowship Meal is tonight at 5.30 in the gym to welcome Devin, Kaylee, and Olive Morris to Westgate. Please bring a finger food or homemade ice cream along with an unwrapped household, cleaning, or food item for their home. The Children's Ministry's Back to School Party will be Sunday, August 18th from 4.30 to 6.30 in the gym. There will be hot dogs and a big slide as we celebrate the new school year. As Ranji walked through the Indian elephant camp, he was amazed at the size of the elephants and their tusks, but even more amazed that there were no cages or fences keeping them in place. Instead, each elephant had a tiny rope tied around its ankle and attached to a small stake in the ground. Astounded, he asked the elephant keeper why they didn't simply walk away from the camp. The keeper informed him that a small rope was tied around the elephant's legs when they were small. And as they grew into adults, they never questioned whether they would be able to break the rope. Jeremiah relays the following words from God to the Babylonian exiles, but they apply to us today. I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Many times we have predetermined ideas of who we are and what we can do, focusing on our faults, our weaknesses, our shortcomings. But God sees in us the things that He can accomplish. Don't allow yourself to be tied down by the ropes of insecurity. God can work great things through you. Please stand for the reading of God's Word. <laughs> 